Welcome back to another tutorial video. Uh, this one will focus on how the automated message feature works in the Super Lemon WhatsApp plugin. Uh, quick note, the automated message feature and the manual message feature is a part of the ultimate plan. Uh, click on upgrade if you haven't already to, and start your 30 day trial right now. Uh, all right, let's get into it. Automated WhatsApp messages are sent from our Super Lemon official WhatsApp business API numbers. Uh, phone numbers have to be approved by WhatsApp before we can use them to send. Uh, here's a demo of how the message looks. As you can see, the messages are sent from our numbers, but the message itself is completely branded. Your customer name, your store name, a link to your store in a short link format with your store's name in it all are included in the message and in we also include a quick short link wa.me slash your phone number so that if your customers have any questions at all they can click on this and instantly start a chat with you whatsapp messages are available in several languages we have to configure and apply for each language template to whatsapp before uh, they approve it and before we can use it in our app uh, in our case, the default is English, but you can select any one of these. For example, if you want to see the preview of Portuguese, click on Portuguese, you'll see how the template in Portuguese looks like. And you can see a real preview of how it looks like by clicking on the preview button. You can even include a discount code, which will automatically be added if you select the percentage discount or you can manually create your own discount code and say you created a code and you added it. This code will now be included in the message and you can see how that looks from here. Actually, let me show you the English preview. There you go. As you can see, this is the default message. This is the message that gets sent when you have a percentage discount. This is the message that gets sent when you set your own discount code. All right, before sending uh, any WhatsApp message, uh, we need to collect opt-in. Uh, I'll just get to that before I just quickly brief you on. The message template itself cannot be edited. And this is because WhatsApp needs to approve the templates. If they don't approve it, we can't send it using their API automatically. And the, the reason why the template looks like this is because WhatsApp doesn't allow promotional templates such as your cart has been reserved. It, it's not possible to send those using WhatsApp. Therefore, our message looks like a transactional message. However, the conversion rates are amazing and I urge you to try it out once. So I was saying, before you send a WhatsApp message automatically through their API, we have to collect opt-in. This is a rule mandated by WhatsApp. So an opt-in is collected from your store using a storefront widget. And this widget is automatically enabled if you have enabled any of the automated message templates. Let's look at how it looks. This is how the template looks on your mobile. Uh, the widget looks on your mobile and desktop. As you can see, we clearly say that you will receive messages on WhatsApp. They give their phone number and they hit confirm. That's opt-in. You can decide where to show the opt-in. You can decide whether to show it on the add to cart button, whether to show it only on the cart page. There are four options you can enable and disable as you choose, but we recommend you to enable at least those options to, con to make sure that we collect enough opt-ins. But there's a new feature we have added recently called the checkout page opt-in. This feature allows you to collect opt-in from your checkout form. Just click on the button and go through the steps mentioned in the guide. And after you've made all the changes, your checkout page will look like this. Customers will enter their phone number here and this text ensures that we have opt-in from them. Uh, additionally, if the customer enters their mobile number here, uh, email address here, but they enter their mobile number in the shipping address, even that works. As long as they have checked the box and you have changed the text, we will be able to use this as an opt-in. After you have completed all these steps, click on apply to approval. We will manually check your store checkout page and then we will approve it. 
once it's approved, uh, you will see opt-in rates and conversions skyrocket because we get way more opt-ins from the checkout page than using the widget. So how do you see results? Results are from the analytics tab. The analytics tab, you'll be able to see how many abandoned carts you had in the, in the time period, uh, how many messages were sent, how many carts were recovered, what is the abandoned cart recovery rate, and the money value of the recovered carts. You'll be able to see a log of message templates where we will show you whether the message was sent or failed. If it was failed, what was the reason for failure? Uh, typical reasons include there was no opt-in, so we couldn't send the message. Another reason would be the phone number itself was incorrect or it was not registered on WhatsApp. In those cases, the message sending fails. Don't worry, we only charge you if the message is successfully sent. You are not charged for failed messages. Let's go to order CRM. Order CRM works exactly like abandoned card. The only uh, difference is there are two different templates here. There is an order confirmation template which is sent immediately after the customer has confirmed the order. Once again, you can see a preview of how the template looks. As you can see, this is the default message. You can choose to include a coupon code for your customer's next order. You can manually create the coupon code or include an automated, automated discount code. And the other message is the order shipment message. The order shipment message is sent as soon as you fulfill an order in Shopify. If the customer has opted in, we will be able to send the order shipment message, which includes a tracking link, a tracking ID, and a link to your customer support if they have questions. The rest of the part is the same as an abandoned cart. And similarly, you'll be able to see analytics for order CRM to see how many messages were sent. In case you included a coupon code, how many of them led to sales? Um, all of these details will be shown here. Final uh, tab on the left is opt-in numbers. Opt-in numbers shows you all the phone numbers for which we have collected opt-in. Uh, and you will be able to export these numbers. You'll be able to say, say send the messages to my email address, send all the opt-in uh, numbers between this date to this date, submit, and we will send a CSV to that email address. That's it. That concludes the automated message feature. Uh, if you have any questions, I urge you to go through the app UI, read the text on the left side. It will answer most of your questions. However, if you have additional questions, Always feel free to drop an email to us and we will help you out. Have a good day.